We had completed the drawing of the Nintendo Switch with HTML and CSS. I have added some additional ARIA attributes to make it just a pinch more accessible. And what we're going to do now is add some functionality to the demo. So to do that, we're going to use the Gamepad API. But instead of using the API directly, I'm going to use a library that I created that uses it behind the scenes. This is because the Gamepad API sometimes is a little bit complicated to use the way the events uh, work. But with this library, I created functions that look like jQuery and make it super easy. I have already preloaded into the JavaScript my library and let's see if it works. So first thing we do is game control and we say once it's connected call a function uh, with the gamepad and we're not going to use the gamepad we're just going to verify that it works gamepad connected okay so now I come here I go to my Bluetooth settings and I activate the controller the joy-con here it is uh, and I connect it it's funny I don't have a Samsung TV so I don't know what this is doing here uh, Let's ignore for now. So we have the, the controller connected. Let's open the console. Let's clear it for now. And now I'm going to press a button and look, gamepad detected, but it's not, it's not going because the event is not connected, it's connect. So now when I press gamepad connected, correct. So what we can do is like uh, the gamepad API assigns numbers to each of the buttons so it's 0 1 2 3 are the main ones they're going to match probably 0 1 2 3 although the controller is tilted later so it's probably going to be 0 1 2 3 so let's do that so we say gamepad on button 0 um, so this is going to be called as long as the button 0 is pressed so let's say a function, let's do console log button zero down. So we click here and nothing happened. Oh, there it is. So this is button zero. So it's like that. So it's probably going to be zero, one, two, three, uh, if it's a standard. So that's good. You see that we got it a lot of times. That's the problem I was mentioning with the gamepad API. It's a little bit complicated. So instead of using on, I like to use before. That is a function I created that only calls it once when you press the button. So now if I press the button once, it's only triggering once, which is good. And then after triggers after the event. So I can say before the button series down and now is up. Let's see if it works. I save, clear, and is down, is up down up uh, oh I put before I should have put an after my bad so down is before and now it's up correct so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a small style here and I'm going to say active so when a button is active we're going to put a background yellow important i don't think the important is really needed but i'm going to add it just in case so now when i click what i'm going to do is that i'm going to say document actually no i'm going to put that into a function i'm going to say const activate equals um, the selector and what i'm going to do is document query selector uh, selector class list and I'm going to add active uh, I'm going to say add active and then we're going to deactivate and deactivate instead of adding we are removing the class active so you see uh, on before we activate and it's a button and it's a left and when we stop pressing the button, we deactivate. So now when I press here, I'm going to close this 
It's a little bit sensitive about errors. Um, let's see if it worked. So we press, it goes yellow, on and off, you see? So now let's do the same thing, but now for the button one, let's see which one is button one. Uh, so if this is zero, this should be one, so it should be down. Let's see if it's true. Uh, oh, something, I pressed something before it should have, I think, and I broke something. So button one, save. Okay. Um, let me reload this. Let's see what's happening because it's connecting, but it's not applying it correctly. So I click, okay, and then I press down and it goes down actually, yes. So it's zero, one, then this is going to be two and three. So let's do the same thing for the two and three. But you see all the buttons are activating correctly. Cool. Now this one is probably going to be either the select or the start. So that's going to be button eight or button nine. Let's try button eight. Let's see if that's the button that we want. And this would be the minus. Save. We activate this, we press the minus and nothing happens. So let's try button nine, save. And this is working. We press the minus and there it is, perfect. So you see, we have our demo. And just with a little bit of JavaScript, we made it possible to control our demo with the actual Nintendo Switch.